I don't know if you expect something. But for me, my, my personality is the Minister of Finance carries off this matter before the date. Because I remember on the 4th of August, mm. the OMC had a press conference. Mm. They, have, they have been saying this. Yes, they said. Over one month. Yeah. So still, nothing came out of until date. The damage I've been doing, you start negotiating. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so for me, my, 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 my assumption is government is going to take more subsidies. So the government no, but government they cannot. They left the matter. <laughs> no, but they, but you but cannot they, give what you they, don't but, have. But, but, but didn't they have, have a point? I mean, the oil marketing companies made noise since early August. They even threatened. No, but that was resort. That's yes. why I said in my yeah, intervention that yeah, yeah, they you had a meeting. A with similar them, yes. problem has happened mm -hmm. twice in a space of three months. Three three months. months. And that is not news to anybody. Yeah. I have lived it, he has lived it, Yang yeah. Yai did, and you did. Yeah. And you know, to be quite honest, mm. uh, we are in a state of a very complex product mm -hmm. that has social dimension, national security dimension, but also a business dimension. Mm -hmm. As I speak to you right now, the pump price that you are buying for diesel mm -hmm. is not the actual pump price for diesel. Right now, that flumara I was talking about is negative for diesel. So it's suppressed. Yeah, it's suppressed. The actual price of diesel, part of price structure, is seventy-five eighty-eight. The price for diesel right now, now is seventy-one dollars in some boots. So government is losing about four dollars. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you one thing: mm -hmm. diesel is one of the most highly consumed product petroleum product in this country yes, yes we are right. doing about 12 to 13 million liters if you multiply four by 11 million or 12 million that's 48 million that government is losing for only one product in one month yes if you extrapolate that for 10 months that is 480 million yeah. that is more than the budget for let's the say ministry. 10 ministries combined <laughs> combined <laughs> So, you know, we must also appreciate the fact that government, in trying to stabilize the market, mm -hmm. we are losing so much. It comes with a cost. And government was willingly taking this cost to the extent of 1.2 billion. Yeah, but Mr. Jalo. So, the, the, the per capita cost yeah. or losses mm -hmm. on oil related revenue mm -hmm. is fundamentally high. But what, what, when they say they too are foregoing um, you know, profit margins, where do they do they? Where do they, where do they forego? You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't consider that point? We that do. That point. We do. That's why mm. we had a consideration not to touch their margin by more than $1. Mm. That was 5.88. Mm. This month it is 4.88. And you, that 4.88 you are getting, mm. we are losing 4.88 for diesel. Yeah. Right? Mm. So while you're, we are allowing you to gain some sort, mm. we are losing fundamentally from but Mr. Chan, what the price should have been <laughs> and it's not yeah but the gain and lose that's yeah. all happening right now uh -huh. is because of the inefficiency and the asymmetries in the market absolutely the market as it is right now like i said mm -hmm. i'm very sympathetic to the cause of the government mm -hmm. because government need revenues to run its affairs mm -hmm. our affairs mm -hmm. but equally we need to put everything in context how did we get here mm -hmm. The Mohammed Bazi regime created a price structure that was good for a sole importer. So all the money was coming to one person. Now, these people are tasting what one person was eating alone. Now they have the opportunity to have it. But then the price structure then was inefficient. And that's what we inherited 2016 to date. And not much has changed. So the importers are used to monies that they didn't earn. Mm -hmm. I'll be very tough to say this. Mm -hmm. The importers are used to monies that they didn't earn. Meaning, mm -hmm. when you're in business, you have a cost. Mm -hmm. And your cost must have a return. But the return must commensurate with your cost. Exactly. But as it is right now, the returns they were getting is not commensurating with their cost up until they start having these forex issues mm -hmm. that started shrinking their margins. So what we need to do as a country led by the Ministry of Petroleum with the help of the Ministry of Finance because the Ministry of Finance is the fiscal authority. Mm -hmm. We should come up with a price structure that is more efficient and less discretion. What do I mean by that? <coughs> a price structure, because right now they're using Northwest Europe average over 30 days, mean and high. I'm, I have no problems with all of that. It's good. LC costs, we all know the prevailing commercial rates for LC cost closing and opening, you add them together 2.5 to 1.5 depending on how big you are 
in and, the market. And that's what is in the price structure. It's already there. Yeah. So now, what these people are calling for, I am very fair with government in this issue because what is happening, if it, if it doesn't happen, I will be the same who complains about crime, Absolutely. who complains about roads not being maintained properly, health system, health system education, etc. Yeah. So in as much as I am a critic, I have to be a constructive critic. And what I'm saying right now, mm -hmm. where I am faulting the government, is for government from 2016 to date not having an efficient pricing model. The pricing model we have right now is highly inefficient, and that's why someone can sit down and say, they are cheating me, I'm not getting enough. But, but if everything is based on a metrics, mm -hmm. There is no discretion. So even the committee will not meet. They will just plug in figures at the end of the month. I, and I, once I, they plug in figures, they say this is what it is and no one will complain. I, I think, uh, yeah. just let me address a few of the things that you have raised. Uh, the price structure, yeah, is true. It needs to be improved. Mm -hmm. But again, I do not consider that it is inefficient because you know why? Uh, a lot of the pricing issues that have re uh, impacted fuel products are revealed by the problems in Russia and Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And also the global shipment system has also, you know, changed drastically. Yes. And this has all added cost to being it the fuel product, being it basic commodity like food. So, uh, and to that effect, we have uh, advised that the, the pricing committee work with OMCs to make so that the pricing structure addresses the needs of both parties mm -hmm. that is government on the one side and OMCs on the other side mm -hmm. and that is one of the reasons why as we speak to you a joint uh, you know meeting is being held to make sure that the best parameters as but far why as now why not two concerned. weeks ago why not three weeks ago you see we cannot be firefighting no it has been happening <laughs> no 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 it I'm not saying that the meeting today mm -hmm. Should not have been today. No, this similar meeting happened on the fourth of August. I, I agree, but yeah. what I'm on saying the 4th is, of August, what I'm a saying here meeting is happened. exactly. And I'm this saying. meeting was attended by both OMCs and government. In fact, in fact, on the fourth of I, August, I 